So now I'm going to make two objects right here and I'm going to merge them. To do that, I'm going to draw a cube right here. You can see that there's a cube and I'm going to rearrange its space just like this. So once I rearrange it, you can see that I got a cube and I can create a duplicate of it by control clicking and dragging as you can see right there. So now let's say I want to model these. So let me convert this into a polygon by pressing C and this one as well. And over here, I'm going to select the face right here and I'm going to delete these out. So delete uh, this cube space and this cube space right here. So I'm gonna go over here and delete this cube space right here as well. So let's say I do some modeling right here. So I, I go over here, maybe I select the, uh, select the models and then I maybe add in something like a loop. So I'm going to press K and L right here to add in loops and things like that. So let's say I do some modeling right here. So now once I do that, uh, I want to merge these out. So to make both of the objects as one, I can select both of them. I'm going to go to the object mode. I can right click and I can actually merge these out. So you can see over here. So I got two of these objects right here and I can go over here, right click and merge these objects. So you can see that there's connect objects. So I'm going to press connect objects. And there's a third object as you can see. So I can delete individual out individual cubes right here. And this is there as a singular object. And if I were to do some modeling right here, let's say I can move this around and so forth. I can connect these dots out as well. For that, I can use a tool called stitch and shoot. So to do that, I can select both of these uh, these points right here. I can right click right here and you'll be able to see stits and sue. So this is the tool that you can use. So I'm going to select that and over here, it does not actually do anything right now. But if I were to click and drag the points, now they have been connected as you can see. So these individual objects started out from a different point. I can also uh, now let me go back to the selection tool and I'm going to select the points which I want to stitch and stew. So I'm going to select all of it which I want to be affected. So I'm going to right click now and I'm going to go over here onto the selection tool. Yes. So I'm going to go over to the selection tool and then I'm going to go on to the stitch and stew again. This is stitch and stew and click and drag these points as you can see. So once I do that, you can see that everything has been uh, dragged across just like that. So if you have multiple multiple points, you can see that all of them has been merged together. So this works if there are same number of points right there. So you can see that we started off with uh, with multiple objects and then we uh, tended it out into same um, say, uh, as in the same object right here. So that is how you can merge the objects and use stitch and shoe uh, objects to actually make two objects into one and join individual uh, points inside of Cinema 4D. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.